Hello everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome to another Blender Quick Tip tutorial. Today we are going to be going over the pivot point options in Blender. So um, first of all I'll start, I'll start off with the bounding box center um, pivot point. So with this one it will pivot no matter where you move it, it will pivot on the bounding box. And the way you see that bounding box is you go to the bounding box view, the viewport shading, and that's what the bounding box for this object looks like. So whatever the bounding box shape looks like, I think that's the way it works. I haven't really, I don't know if I've really used this one. It probably just centers off in the middle because it's the way the bounding box is. Anyway, let's move on to the 3D cursor. So the 3D cursor, if you don't know, is this little thing right here. Everywhere I move it, it moves the rotation point or the movement point. So now, every time I move this, it will move from that point. So say that I rotate it, it will be rotating from the 3D cursor, which is that little thing, little crosshair looking thing. Okay, that's what that does. If you want to rotate, um, let's just say you have two objects. I'll give you an example here. So you have this cube, and you uh, select it, and then press cursor to selected. And now, if I rotate this plane, it will rotate from the center of this cube, which is where that cursor is now. Um, but I could also move it somewhere else on accident and then it would move around that pivot point around wherever I move this will be the point from where this object is moved whether that where, whether it's rotating or even um, grabbing or moving okay so let's move on to individual origins whoops accidentally double I accidentally right click while I was left clicking um, I'm going to select individual origins and what this does is it rotates every object on its own origin so if I rotate these they both rotate on their own origin instead of rotating like this cube on its own origin which it already already does if I select multiple objects they will all rotate on their own origin just like this so if you just wanted to rotate a bunch of objects the same way, all you have to do is rotate on origins. And then again, you don't have to do that because you could just do bounding box center and then rotate and it starts the center. It starts at the center of all the objects that you have selected. So let's do solid. Okay, I'm going to go now to individual. Okay, I already did individual origins. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Let's go to median point. So median point is this little dot right here. So let's just say I move this cube like this. The median point stays. And now when I rotate it, it will rotate on that little dot right there. So it's rotating on that median point. That's what that little dot is called. Um, so that's what median point is for. It's for rotating on the median, which is the little dot, like I said. So if I move this, it moves on that little dot. Okay, so let's go to active element now. So this one works with, if you, the, the way this one works is if you select whatever object is active, and what it means by active is it's the last one selected. So as you can see, this orange highlight it's like a lighter orange highlight around this object, around this cube. Um, that means that it's active. So say that I selected this sphere, I mean the cylinder, that is now active. So whatever I select right here will be active. So I'm going to make this cube active. Press R and it rotates from this cube's origin point. So that's what active element that does. So if I selected this plane, it would rotate from that plane's origin point, or the plane's active origin point right there. So if I move this origin point, like say that I did this, 
and then I move it from the plane, it'll still move from that little dot. And that's why you see these transform options right here on on that little dot. So that's it pretty much. Yep, that's it. If you look at all the uh, pivot points, I've gone through all of them. And I hope this has helped you. And I hope it's awesome. And I thank you guys for subscribing. I keep getting subscribers every day. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Every single one of you. And I thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I will see you guys next time on the next Tutorial Tuesday. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.